Hello everyone, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo for April 2021 to see why their crush isn't communicating with them right now. So let's see, Virgo, <clears throat> please tell me about Virgo. Why isn't their love interest communicating with them right now? What's the situation right now between Virgo and this person? they're not in contact with and they're thinking about what's the situation why isn't there communication why isn't there communication between virgo and this person <clears throat> so this one wanted to jump out okay so Things were going well. I see communication here. And I see it ending abruptly. Mm. Where's the death card here? Why has this communication ended? Where's the death card here? Why has this communication ended? Someone was worried about money. Someone was worried about how much they were giving to this connection. Um, I see someone dissatisfied about how much they were giving to this connection. Either it's, it's something financial or um, it could be, you know, um, I wouldn't really say feelings, but more like effort. How much effort they were putting in this connection and they possibly felt that it wasn't reciprocated or appreciated or something along those lines. But there was someone dissatisfied here and I suppose it's them, the person who cut off, uh, cut off the communication. Um, because they were worried about how much they were putting in this connection. They were worried about how much this connection was costing them. They were worried about how much this connection um, was taking up of their time, their energy. Um, something along those lines, Virgo. Now, let's see. How does this person see you? How does this person, Virgo, is thinking about see Virgo? How do they see Virgo? Yeah, they see you as argumentative. They see you as someone who has a, a chip on their shoulder um, and someone who they don't know what to expect with. It's like um, you're changeable and unpredictable and all of a sudden you could get aggravated and upset over something and start an argument. That's how they see you. Virgo, and now I know you're going to write me in the comments. I'm not like that. That's how they see you. That's that as someone who is moody and changeable and um, could lash out on them. Now, let's see. What are this person's feelings towards you? How does Virgo's crush feel towards Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? Uh, they're not really sure about this connection. They're not really sure about how smooth this connection is going to be and how it's going to work out and how it's going to develop. It's like they're dissatisfied of how much you've progressed so far. Um, they're here sitting at the seven of pentacles looking down at the three of pentacles. So like it's as if they feel that this connection hasn't developed as much as they would have wanted to. Uh, they feel like they made a bad investment, so to say. Again, I'm getting cards of pentacles. It could be about money. It could be about energy, effort, time, whatever it is. Um, they're looking back at what they invested in this and they, they're saying, oh... It's, I, I only got the three of pentacles. That's quite little. Okay. Now let's see. What are this person's intentions towards you? What are this person's intentions towards a Virgo? 
Please tell me what are this person's intentions towards a Virgo? Uh, they're looking back at this connection and assessing it. There is love there. This person does have love for you. But they're looking back and counting their losses as if. Um, they, they're they looking back very objectively. They show up as the king of swords. Uh, they could be a, an air sign person. But uh, it could simply signify an energy. Uh, an energy of someone who is very level-headed and, uh, you know, logical and objective. And so they're looking back at what you two had objectively and uh, assessing it this person is in a period of evaluation now and they're they're looking at things from a very pragmatic way uh what did i put in what did i get out of it like <laughs> you know um no feelings involved right now in the way they're looking at things um yeah so they're looking at some missed opportunities that they could have had um dissatisfaction there there is dissatisfaction on their end uh virgo as i said they they feel like they didn't get what they wanted from this and that it didn't develop in the way they would have wanted it now let's see the future and what's going to happen between virgo and their crush uh, by the end of April and going into May, so let's say in the next 30 days or so. What's the outcome here? What's going to happen between Virgo and this person within the next 30 days? <laughs> They're coming back to put in more effort and more energy into this. Um... It's so, you know, with them coming back, it's it's either, you know, a dissatisfaction here that they either put too much effort into this or that they put too little. I think the storyline is going to be different for, um, you know, all the Virgos uh, watching uh, this. But the outcome is, of course, the same for all of you. Uh, this person is coming back and they're willing to keep on working on this. Uh, th this is just the phase of you not speaking to each other um it could be that i don't know there was some discussion between the two of you uh, i don't know they said hey look virgo i did this for you so why didn't you reciprocate and do, do this I, or i don't know i i gave you you could have done uh, multiple things with the things i gave you why didn't you something like that the satisfaction uh but in any case in, uh, expect them to come back expect them to invest more to keep working on this connection um, expect happiness between uh, the two of you uh, this um, this state they're in right now uh, is temporary because when they come back they're not going to come back with an attitude on the contrary they're going to come back with an attitude of optimism uh, and um, willingness to work on this, to progress, to move forward. Um, it's very likely that apart from your love connection, you two were also working on something together. Um, maybe actual work as in job or something like that, or I don't know, a project of, of, of renovation or something along those lines. And they just weren't satisfied with how much you put into this. Um, but uh, as I said, they're going to <laughs> get back to better spirits and better mood. And uh, they're going to come uh, towards you and um, v uh, in a very optimistic way. And uh, willing to, to work on this and progress with this um, and uh, move, it, move forward with you. Okay? So that was the reading with these cards. Now let's see what the other cards have to say. Uh, I'm going to do a spread that's going to give me an exact yes or no answer to the question. 
is there going to be communication between Virgo and their crush within the next 30 days? Please tell me, is there going to be communication between Virgo and their crush within the next 30 days? So, um... This portion of the reading might be a bit boring because they're not, there isn't anything I can explain. It's all about the outcome and what answer I get at the end when I finish laying out the cards. So, um, as uh, you're waiting, go ahead and um, give this video a like if you've liked the reading so far. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Someone left me a hate comment on another video saying, Who the fuck reads playing cards? <laughs> I do. Who reads playing cards? I do. Um... That, it was very funny, that comment to me, because um, many people read playing cards. I learned from people who read playing cards. So um, I suppose that person had never seen this done before. So that's why they said that. But this is actually something very widespread. I mean, I didn't invent this method. I learned it. So um, this is not my creation Yes, the answer to this question, is there going to be communication between the two of you, is yes. Yes, you are going to communicate and it's going to happen within a month. Uh, exactly what I asked, is there going to be within a month? Yes, within a month. So let's see what more information I can get from these cards. Okay, so, Virgo, expect very good news, yeah, uh, soon from this person, uh, and it's um, news that's going to come with money. <laughs> you know, uh, earlier in the tarot cards, I saw money being an issue in this relationship, then being dissatisfied uh, with how much um, they were investing and then coming back to invest even more. Yep, I see it here too. They're coming back and they're bringing even more money. <laughs> so <laughs> that's very good. Um, other than that, I see success. I see good communication. I see decisions being made for the future of this connection. Um, let's see. I see an event, an event at daytime, you two could possibly go together somewhere, uh, but um, this is some sort of trip you're going to take, not necessarily to another location, but, you know, going out, going to a restaurant, going to a cafe, you know, a day out together, uh, outside of your home, yeah, not of your home, not in your home. Okay. Love seems to be good. There are going to be some um, potential upsets uh, regarding this stability that you have 
um, the love connection and the stability and the commitment to it. You you might have some conversations with this person along the lines of um, not how committed you are to me, but more like how much are you willing to invest into this. So the the cards are, are saying, you know, reflecting what I saw earlier in the tarot cards that there could be some discussion, contradictory discussions about each person's contribution to the relationship or something along those lines. Okay, uh, Virgo. Now let's see a bit more. So, okay, this and these. So this is uh, this man is thinking about you, especially I, I, here. I see you as a brunette woman. The female Virgo watching this, I see I see her as a brunette woman, um, possibly with a darker complexion uh, or tanned complexion. That's how this, that's how you show up in these uh, cards and. Um, and um, as I said, they're, they're thinking about you, expect news, expect communication. Uh, I think that this person is going to message you at night time. Yeah, when they're going to reach out to you, it's going to be at night time. And um, when you're going to go on this day out with, uh, with them, it's possible that there might be a woman there with you as well. I'm not saying a love connection of theirs or anything like that. No, a friend of yours, she might join you on this day out. Okay, so uh, that was the reading with these cards. Now let's pull out some messages from Spirit. <clears throat> I'm going to pull out three and um, you can choose one. So let's see, what does Virgo need to hear right now? The first, and what does Virgo need to hear? The second, and the Virgo, give me a message for Virgo. This one. Oh, you've got two. This one. Uh, okay, go ahead and choose one uh, using your intuition. Okay, so let's see, for the first message, if you, <clears throat> if you can love the wrong person that much, imagine how much you can love the right one. Okay, so that's something to, to think about, uh, Virgo. I didn't see this person doing anything wrong towards you. Uh, on the contrary, I saw them as overgiving. But, you know, um, at the end of the day, perhaps this, uh, the, the roles in the reading could be reversed too. So maybe you were the overgiver in, uh, in this connection. <clears throat> the second one. Why are you single? You're so pretty. First of all, I'm not the problem. <laughs> so this is someone who knows their worth. Okay. And uh, stands, um, you know, firm in their convictions and the fact that, you know what, it's not me, that's the problem. <laughs> okay, that's what you needed to hear. And let's see the third. Stay single until someone actually compliments your life in a way that makes it better to not be single. If not, it's not worth it. Oh, um, yeah. So that was, uh, that's an interesting message because um, I did see that person putting a lot of energy and effort into this connection with you. So uh, perhaps uh, this is a, a call for you to appreciate what, uh, what they do for you and um, all the contribution that they um, bring into, into your life. So uh, that was it. These were the messages and uh, the readings. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you got some um, insight and some clarity from them. I hope they were helpful. Um, give this video a like if you liked the readings. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, if you would like to see more of my videos. Uh, I wish you good luck 
with um, with this uh, connection that uh, that you have and uh, i'll see you again in my next videos bye for now